Father, we pray that you will be glorified at every meeting. And even if we um, bless the queen, that you will be glorified as the king of kings. Amen. 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 Father, we want to thank you for our queen. We lift her before your throne of grace. We thank you, Father, for your goodness and your faithfulness to her. Thank you, Lord, that you have spared her life even till this moment, Lord. We thank you, Father, that she acknowledges you as her Lord and her Savior. We ask, oh Lord, that your hand will continue to rest upon her, that your hand will continue to rest upon the royal family. Lord, we pray for the salvation of the whole family, Lord, because, yes. Father, you are a household God, you are the God who saves even to the ultimate, all those who put their trust in you. We pray, mm -hmm. Lord, Father, for the rest of her days, Lord, that she'll continue to confess you as her Lord and her Savior. Bless her, Lord. Keep her safe in your love and in your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Father, we, we just proclaim that nobody else but you could have possibly done this. Mm. Yes. yes, you planted faithfulness in our beloved queen mm. and you yeah. made it come true for her right mm. away through her life uh, mm. in a, right over the biggest waves which she rode with discomfort and fear mm. and, and she knows and remembers right back um, to the war and everything like that and we've she's come out the other side lord and her persistence despite the loss of her beloved husband mm. has been an absolute object lesson to us and the way she's adapted Amen. and modified herself from what she said, it's been, it's been tough and she's hung on in there, which is what it's all about. Mm. She who endures to the end shall be saved. Amen. And that's a great measure on the saving of our nation as well. Oh, oh, and Father, I just pray, this is wonderful. And everyone who's taken part in these ceremonies today, all the soldiers, the training, the meticulousness is a great tribute to her. And may she, or oh, she'll never forget this day, will she? But she's mm. earned it, Lord, and you've given her that grace. It's Amen. Only who could? Amen. 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 And amen. 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 And amen. Thank you very much. I'm going to be clocking off in a few minutes, but I, I'm here in Austin share with a number of Christians. And on Sunday, I'm going to be in Bristol. And so we're encouraging every single one of you to organize, connect with other Christians, go to your high places. Even if you don't have a high place you want to go to, prayer is the high place, connect with other Christians. And at 7 p.m. on Sunday, we're going to... We are going to dedicate this house to the Lord. We're going to hand this house over to the Lord. We're going to lift up Jesus over Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, England, and Wales, and the Isles, Isle of Wight, the Isle of Guernsey, the Isle of Jersey, the Orkney Islands. So please pull all the intercessors, all your leaders. Let them be here 7 p.m. on Sunday. God bless you. Over to you, Adam. Thank you very much indeed, Pastor Jonathan. It's good to be with you on this Bank Holiday Thursday. I've been saying it's Bank Holiday Monday, but actually it's Bank holiday Thursday. And I hope that today, as we have started our prayer time tonight, praying for the Queen, that you've enjoyed watching some of the amazing uh, celebrations that uh, we've seen on the, the television, praying for the Queen as she stood on the balcony with the royal family today, as she uh, watched on it with the, the trooping of the, the colour. I should have been in there uh, in London today, but actually because we're moving house uh, next week, I've actually spent most of today sorting out bits for moving house, um, but it is a, a, a privilege to be able to watch what's going on. And I want to encourage you. I was saying this to Brian early, who's going to be one of the leaders on one of our guests this evening, that uh, this evening at uh, quarter to 10 across the nation, beacons are going to be lit. There's special programming on from eight o'clock this evening where people will be lighting beacons uh, across, the, uh, across the British Isles and the Commonwealth. And there's a special programme from eight o'clock. That's happening at quarter to 10 this evening. And I want us as believers, we're believing for a canopy of lights to be blazed across this nation. I want us to stop. We, uh, as a team, uh, Jonathan, Carl and myself had said when we, we first heard that these beacons were being lit, said we want to ask all those that will come and gather on our prayer platform over these 10 days to pray and to stop and to ask for God's Holy Spirit to break out, for there to be a canopy of light raised across this nation. And we, as we watch that prophetically 
and symbolically tonight across this nation. Would you take time at quarter to 10 tonight um, as you're watching this on your TV to pray for our nation, to pray for our queen? Would you do that uh, this evening at quarter to, to 10? I'm going to because I've I've given the notices for the last couple of evenings. And I just want to first of all say thank you. Last night we saw a massive increase to those that have given to our uh, one in 100 appeal to make sure that every bill for uh, virtual uh, for, for, for together at Pentecost is uh, United at Pentecost is pe uh, is uh, is paid for. We were one third of the way there last night before we had our call. We are now we are now two thirds there. Thirty four percent is the remaining amount that's needed in order for us to hit our target. So, Carl, I'm going to invite you um, before we introduce our guests and our friends from the Isle of Wight this evening, just to share a little update for us. Carl, over to you. Great. Thanks, Adam. Uh, always good to be with everyone. Um, just looking at some of the people coming in. Uh, I want to say a big shout out to Paul Benny, first time on one of our calls from Mevercacy in Cornwall. Uh, but we've got Eileen from Amtill in Bedfordshire, um, Margaret Walker from uh, Kettering. Um, we've got Margaret as well, Daniel from uh, Germany on with us tonight. Lovely to see faces. Gail from Norwich, uh, Ray from Jersey. Um, great, great number of you. There's 155 of us on tonight, so we're going to have a great time of prayer. It's all about the Holy Spirit coming, isn't it, tonight? And we will really want to bless the Isle of Wight as we pray. We want to think about how the Holy Spirit impacts us and how we move forward. As Adam said, you know, we, on the financial side, when we first conceived coming back at Pentecost, if you remember last year, we were virtual Pentecost and we hired a studio in London and we had uh, live interaction as well as being on TBN in the morning uh, last year. And this year, you, how can you compete <laughs> with the Queen? You can't do that. So there's, there was almost no point in uh, doing something ourselves in the studio. So the original cost of that was going to be around £40,000. Um, we've been able to bring that cost way down because obviously we haven't done the studio, but we have done um, quite a bit of connection and quite a bit of, it's tremendous how much things cost now even to email out. So the target this year uh, was 9800 And as Adam said, uh, we were at about 30% a, a few days back. We are now at um, 66, 67% tonight. So we've only got that little bit to go. We've got till Sunday to raise it. If you were led to give, we so bless you for that. If you're unable to give, we thank you so much for your prayers. Um, you know, it's, it's not about putting a, a hand behind anyone's back. This is really sensible in the way that we have approached things. Um, we're going to put, Adam, if you can do that while I'm chatting, or oh, that he's done it already. We're going to put a link in the website. It shows you, uh, in the chat, sorry, it shows you on the website exactly where we are, how many donations we've had. If any one of the donors have uh, sent a nice message or a prayer, you can track all that. It's very transparent. And we just thank you if you've already given. I, the last thing I want to say, Adam, is um, I know a few of you have emailed in. Um, Alan Shepherd, we've had messages from you. Uh, Paul Ferrant uh, about the high places prayer time that we're going to have on Sunday. Uh, Jean Dobson, you, you've also taken some pictures. Now, tomorrow, I'm hoping in the afternoon, maybe around two o'clock, I will send out uh, a Zoom link to everybody who's emailed in to see if we want to do a practice run and make sure we've got our little phones. So here's here's me with my phone. Um, if, if you look at this, uh, obviously that's a reflection of what the phone is seeing that way. Now imagine I was on top of a mountain. It would be looking at what's beyond me. 
Now, that may mean on Sunday is your choice. You may want to flip the camera around. So there's a little button on there. And now you can see yourselves. So um, when you log in on Zoom with your mobile phone, you should be able to decide whether you want a picture of what you're seeing or a picture of you praying over what you're seeing. Uh, either way is fine by us. But what we're planning to do is jump around the country, uh, our family of nations, pray short prayers from the high places and really ask the Holy Spirit to come and visit our land again. So if you're able to do that, two o'clock, anyone who's contacted us, um, and if you want to be included in that Zoom meeting tomorrow, just please pop your name in the chat to say, please include me, put your email address in, and we'll add you into that. Um, I know a few of you have done that. One thing, we cannot play videos out on Sunday. Um, I know, Alan, you, you were talking about doing a video in Balamina. Please still do that because there'll be another occasion where we'll be able to play that video out and we may have a focus on Northern Ireland. But on Sunday, it's going to be quite fast moving. Um, if the technology fails, we'll have a laugh and we'll move on and we'll just say everything's OK under God but just to keep the, the momentum of the evening moving along, we're going to avoid playing videos if that's okay. So thank you. That's all from me. Adam, back to you. Thanks again. Thanks, uh, Carl. Just to say, I put my email address. For those of you that have emailed, I know there's a flurry of them today. Thank you to everybody who's emailed. Please drop me an email. A-M, Adam May, A-M, at ndopw.com. That's my direct email address. Uh, do uh, send me an email um, and we'll make sure that you get added to the list onto the email that Carl will send out uh, for tomorrow. But thank you to everybody who's uh, got, gotten in touch with us. It's been brilliant to see uh, people all over the family of nations getting in touch. So do send that stuff our way please. It's useful to know who we can call upon as we celebrate Pentecost around the British Isles uh, and the Isles on, uh, on Sunday. I'm going to introduce our guests this evening. We've got three fantastic guests uh, joining us tonight. We've been praying, haven't we, through the acronym Pentecost. We, on, on the first night, last Thursday, we did P, prevailing prayer. We did E, uh, encouragement. We did N, new life. We've done T, testimony. We've gone through a whole number of those acronyms. Tonight we're coming to S, which is spirit. And so I'm delighted and privileged this evening to introduce three uh, friends from the Isle of Wight who will give us a, a focus about how we can pray for what's going on in the Isle of Wight. Uh, as we think about praying around the coming of the Holy Spirit. It's been brilliant over the previous two nights uh, when James last night from Scotland got us all to pray for Scotland and then the night before having us to pray for what was going on in Wales. It's been absolutely amazing these 10 days and I would encourage you to keep joining with us as we go through the remaining part. Tonight is, uh, tonight is night eight but we're still here tomorrow night, Saturday night, and then Pentecost, seven o'clock. Please invite your friends to come and join us. And if you are new for the first time, it's great to join you. And people who are new will be very welcome to join us over the course of the coming nights as well. But, be, but without much further ado, I'm going to invite Brian from the Isle of Wight to, to share with us as we, we start our prayer focus this evening on praying uh, S for the Spirit. Brian, over to you. Hey, good evening. Thank you so much, Adam, and to Carl as well for leading us tonight. It's great to be with you. Um, my name's Brian Harley. I'm a minister in the United Reformed Church. I've been on the island here over 25 years, and I lead two congregations. And uh, until the end of last year, I was the chair of the Renewal Network in the URC. And I'm also a member of the Council of Evangelical Alliance. The Isle of Wight's uh, a smallish place, um, just a diamond-shaped island with about 140,000 people down here. But it's a great holiday destination. If you've never been, you must come. It's it's absolutely heaving with people this week, being half term, and uh, 
the beach was really busy when I was down there at lunchtime, which was really good for everybody because it's a very tourist dependent economy. I think it's the highest tourist dependency of anywhere in Britain in terms of the amount of dependence there is on, on tourists for people earning their livings. And of course that was hit massively for lockdown. So loads of people have really struggled in the last couple of years. There's also a bit of a housing crisis down here and there's not many rental properties available and some people have lost the place they've been in and can't find anywhere else to live. And it's pretty tragic. Some families have ended up in one room you know, and the council can't find anywhere to put them. And also house prices are rocketing as people are finding they can work from home and then come and live places like the Isle of Wight rather than having to be on the edge of cities. But the church has done reasonably well down here. I think um, it's still largely a white kind of British population. There's not many from other faiths down here, although we have received Syrian refugees and more recently some Ukrainians. I mean, the island may be known to you as a festival island because of the Great Isle of Wight Festival. And uh, that was rekindled 20 years ago after it was banned by an act of parliament after I think over 600,000 people swamped the Isle of Wight when Jimi Hendrix was here back in 1970. So there's kind of things the island's well known for. Well, some of the Christians down here have had a real vision to hold a Christian festival. And I want to introduce a dear friend, Joseph Shermer, who actually no longer lives on the Isle of Wight. He's an Isle of Wight boy, but he's heading up the team that's running a festival here in July and it's called Lionheart. So briefly over to you, Joe, and then Elizabeth's going to speak about the importance of relying on the Holy Spirit in our outreach and mission. So Joe, over to you. Hey, thanks for that, Brian. And it's great to be on and be able to share some things about Lionheart. Uh, the vision started around three or four years ago um, to see churches work closer together and to see uh, the Holy Spirit move in a new, fresh and powerful way. And obviously, you know, COVID came along and all these things happened and, and things were shut down and we were all trapped inside our homes as we switched online to church, which is not the same as meeting face to face. Uh, but we're so excited. It's about 43 days now till the first ever Lionheart Festival. We have Graham Kendrick, Steve Teb, Noel Robinson, Ishmael, and many more coming down to lead us in worship with local church worship teams and ministries as well. We have kids area, so hopefully you know, the kids are gonna come away being filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, and it's just gonna be an amazing time of worship, of hearing the word and of uniting. And it's not just for the Isle of Wight, it's the, you know, the island churches, the Isle of Wight is putting it on, but, but it's an invite to the world to come down and, and let's see a fresh move of God and pray. Um, so I just want to really uh, just, just ask for prayer in a few areas. And so to, just to pray for obviously the ticket sales, the, the general finances, but most importantly, I want you to ask to, to pray for people to come to know Jesus, for miracles to break out, for healings, for, uh, for marriages to be... Um, made better or right or back on track for all these things that Jesus, that the Holy Spirit can do. Uh, we're so excited with the amount of prayers that God has answered over the past three, four years with connections um, and with real major breakthroughs. And there's a lot more breakthroughs that are needed. But I just think we just need to cover it in prayer for, for, for all that Jesus wants to do. I, I've just come back from wildfires where they had over 1,400 uh, young kids under the age of 14 come and know about Jesus and to, to encounter Jesus. And uh, people gather and God is moving. So as we come out of COVID, I, I, I really believe that God is uh, on the move in a fresh and powerful way. So if you want to come and join us, please do buy the tickets by the website you've just seen posted by Brian. If you just want to keep praying for us, we would love that. Uh, we appreciate your prayers so much. But we're just praying that, uh, you know, our prayer is come Holy Spirit and just move and break out on the Isle of Wight. And let's, just, yeah, yeah let's, just, 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 uh, Joe, as you, uh, as, as you say that, I'd love us just to unmute ourselves and just let's start praying. Just let's lift up to God the Isle of Wight from what Brian was saying about what's going on in on the Isle of Wight with people who are moving onto the Isle of Wight, but those who are coming to us, 
and then we'll come and we'll pray yeah, particularly yeah, around uh, Lionheart. Oh, 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 the things that only in Jesus' name, we pray for the house in jesus name we pray would somebody like to raise their digital hand and just let's have a couple of people just pray just specifically for the isle of Wight. Uh, if you want to pray if you feel burdened to to particularly pray and to round up that prayer as we pray mm -hmm. just raise yeah. your and then can i just share something about um, from my side, from the Isle of Wight. Of course you can, um, Elizabeth. Yeah, just quickly that, you know, there's so many celebrations going on and we as Christians, we uphold Pentecost. It's, it's for us quite meaningful. Many people know about God and believe in the creator. We know about Jesus. But I just realized for the 10 years I live on the Isle of Wight, not much is was shared about the Holy Spirit yet. So I'd like to ask for prayer. Um, um, I spoke to Brian earlier on, and he agreed with me that we need more teaching on the Holy Spirit. Why do we need the Holy Spirit? A Holy Spirit, a comforter that gives us courage, gives us the boldness to share, give us more faith, the tools actually to serve God. So um, I just want to ask that we can pray for ourselves for the Holy Spirit, but also knowledge why we need the Holy Spirit, and they, do, they will be teaching on the Isle of Wight, uh, the Holy Spirit, our comforter, the Holy Spirit that empowers us. Psalm 47 just came to my mind while Joseph was speaking. It says, let the nations worship the Lord. Let the nations shout loud and praise God. And Amen. God commands us to worship him, because as we worship, the Holy Spirit will come down. His presence will be with us and it will empower us. It strengthen us. It will comfort us. And lastly, I just want to say that many groups, uh, because of the lockdown, many little groups gathered over WhatsApp and they gathered in smaller groups and prayed. And when there was one lady, Shasha, that was in full of pain, she was 80 years old, so much pain. She went to the hospital. They said they can't do anything for her. She must go home. They can't help her. And she asked this little group, please pray for me that God will take the pain away. Nobody touched her. Nobody saw her. But we prayed in agreement. And that night, the Lord visited her. She woke up with the smell, the fragrance of beautiful fragrance of roses. And she thought, what's that? And she heard Jesus said, I'm here with you. And as she marveled, she fell asleep. And the next morning, her pain was gone. She was completely healed. And she's still alive today with no pain. We give all the glory Amen. to God. Amen. Amen. I love it when we hear stories of where God is on the move. God is on the move. It's interesting, Elizabeth, because I do want us as we're praying around uh, the spirit tonight as we prepare ourselves for Pentecost as a team as a, a, an NDOPW team Pastor Jonathan Carl and I have spent hours recently talking about how Pentecost is unknown in 
uh, many parts, even uh, many parts of society, but even in some places of the church, sometimes we do, we just mark it with a kind of nod to. We don't celebrate the outpouring of the Spirit, and so I do want us in a, a minute to come back to to that as a prayer point. So thank you for for highlighting that, Elizabeth. But I do want us, if if anybody at the moment you are all unmuted, uh, sorry, you are all muted. So. Uh, unfortunately you're unable to mute yourself but do raise your digital hand if you would like to pray for the Isle of Wight just to pray for God's blessing on the Isle of Wight for all that is going on in that uh, all that's going on in that island does anybody want to raise their digital hand and to pray brilliant I can see people starting to, to raise their digital hand uh, Jean Dobson I'm going to ask you I, I, there we are I've invited you to unmute yourself Jean would you lead us in prayer yes uh Thank you, Adam. Father, I just thank you, Lord, um, for the person of the Holy Spirit. Um, and I thank you, Lord Jesus, that all that is released from heaven is released through your Holy Spirit. I'm just reading this scripture here uh, where Jesus says, um, I, I will send the spirit of truth and he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. Lord, we speak those scriptures mm -hmm. over the Isle of Wight. Yes. Father God, thank you that you've heard the words of Margaret. Elizabeth, Lord, you've heard the cry of the hearts of your people. They want to receive from you through your Holy Spirit. And so we ask, Father God, that you are released from heaven. Everything that the people in the Isle of Man need to know, need to receive, from the person of the Holy Spirit. We thank you and we praise you, Lord Jesus, for what you've done and what you are doing, releasing through your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jean. Uh, I'm going to invite uh, Pastor Tenny to uh, uh, mute and to pray for us for the Isle of Wight. Pastor. Hopefully I'll just click the button again. So there we are. Pastor Temi. Uh, pa let me just try and do, do that. Pastor, we'll come back. Janeth, would you lead us in prayer for the Isle of Wight? Okay. I just want to read the scripture. The lady was asking about, you know, why we need to receive the Holy Spirit. And it's in John 6, 63. It is the spirit who gives life. And Lord Almighty, I just want to ask for your breath of life to come to the hearts of people, that you will make the people alive to you. Father, because without you, we are spiritually dead to you. And so, Lord, by your spirit, come the rock of God, the breath of God, Father, as you gave life to Adam. Father God, you breathe your spirit today over every pe person, every everyone, Lord, that calls upon your name, mm. Father God. And for the people as they gather in celebration, oh Lord, we just ask him that your spirit will fill the atmosphere, fill the atmosphere, Lord, fill the atmosphere, Lord, in the Isle of Wight, Father, and the miracles will take place, Lord, that mighty, mighty, mighty move of the spirit will be seen at this time. Father God, we just ask him in your grace and mercy, pour out your spirit mm. in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Janeth. Isaac, I'm going to unmute you. Would you lead us in prayer? And then we will pray for the festival that uh, uh, Joe uh, shared about, because I believe that God wants to do something. We've, been, we've prayed for, we've, been, we've prayed for the, the Lionheart uh, festival in previously but we believe that god wants to do something powerful through that so we're going to pray for that so festival next but before we do isaac would you lead us in prayer yep hallelujah father we want to thank you for this uh, festival that is about to happen in uh, isle of Wight. father we declare this season mm -hmm. it's a season of pentecost we declare that there will be and an unction of the Holy Spirit poured over the Isle of Wight. 
and that this festival will be a point of contact where the spirit of the living God is poured upon people on the island, that there will be a change, there will be a transformation in the uh, uh, island. That we declare God's presence to be released one more time, that we will see changes in the lives of the people of God. We say thank you. We pray that the kingdom of God will be open, that many will be drawn into the kingdom. Father, we say thank you for answering our prayers. We ask this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Isaac. We are now going to pray for the, the Lionheart Festival. Uh, Joe shares a number of things that we can pray into to pray for tickets, to pray for people to come, for people to receive Jesus, not just those that are on the Isle of Wight that will come to this event, but those that will come from, oh, from, from the mainland to this event. Let's do, I'm, I'm going to invite us all now just to unmute ourselves and just particularly to pray for this festival and for all that God wants to do. As we pray for Pentecost, as we prepare ourselves for Pentecost, we're believing that God in jesus name we pray again i'm going to invite anybody that wants to see you I'm going to ask uh, just again a couple of people that want to uh, pray into praying for the Lionheart uh, Lion Fires Festival to just uh, raise their digital hand and uh, again uh, I will un I will call and unmute. So Diane, would you uh, lead us in prayer? Father, as we pray for the Isle of Wight, we see a downpour of your blessing, like a heavy, heavy downpour of rain of the blessing that just comes down from heaven and covers the whole mm. of the Isle of Wight. Lord, you're doing something special. You have called these people to call on your name and you will do it in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you, uh, uh, Diane. I'm going to call uh, Colin from Northampton, Colin, I've just unmuted you, hopefully. There you are. Colin, lead us in prayer. Yeah, Heavenly Father, we particularly bring this Lion Heart Festival to you, Lord. We ask that there'll be good ticket sales. We ask that all of the organization will go well. We ask, Lord, that there will be a special anointing of your Holy Spirit on the preaching of your word. And we ask, Lord, that many will give their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ at this festival. We pray that there'll be baptisms. We pray, Lord, that there'll be lives surrendered to you and uh, reinvigorated by the power of the Spirit. Lord God, we ask that your hand will be upon this uh, festival and that great glory will come to your name and uh, many more souls brought into the kingdom of heaven and blessing 
be poured out upon all who attend this festival. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Colin. Um, I'm going to call Catherine. Catherine, would you lead us in prayer? Yeah, Father, we I just agree with all that agree with all those prayers that have just been prayed. And Father, we just want to hear the lion roar through that conference that you would roar, literally be roaring, roaring your life, roaring your anointing. We roar, roar your anointing into that festival. Thank you, Lord Jesus, your anointing that breaks the yoke. Let everyone who speaks, let everyone who's there be mightily anointed, mightily anointed to give and mightily anointed to receive. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your anointing breaks the yoke. Scatter, scatter every work of darkness. Scatter, cancel every plan and purpose of the enemy. To release the purposes of the kingdom of God. Release it. Power of God, fire of God, power of God, fire of God. Enough is enough. The bride of Christ is rising up. The bride of Christ is rising up in the Isle of Wight and the, the whole of the UK. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the power of the cross and the power of the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the breakthrough. And we come against any confusion, confusion and offense. We drive you out. We drive you out. Any Jezebelic spirit, we drive you out and release the kingdom of God and the love of the Father will prevail in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Catherine. I'm going to try uh, one last time. Pastor Temi, are you there? I'm trying to unmute. Uh, Michael, I've just seen the the message. That was going to be our final prayer point. It has just no. Been, it has yeah, just, just a great apology. The last time my sis, uh, my screen went blank. That was why uh, no I problem, was, Pastor. I could not touch it. In which, case, in, which in which case, Pastor, would you would you pray for the festival, please? Yeah, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this festival in the Isle of Wight. We thank you that you own the earth and the heavens belongs to you. We pray your will, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. We come against every hindrance to the perfect will of God being accomplished in the name of Jesus. We release the provision, both spiritually and human resources, and the perfect will of God. Mm. We declare the atmosphere as a, this festival, atmosphere of miracle signs and wonders. And we declare that unity of the spirit and the advancement of the kingdom of God and the visibility of the kingdom of God shall be established upon the earth. And Lord, all the glory remains yours. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Pastor. I'm glad to, I'm glad that uh, the screen is working and you are back with us. Thank you for for praying. We are uh, uh, just 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 as pa uh, Pastor was being uh, unmuted. Uh, Michael, you just put into the the chat that the Queen uh, will not be attending the Thanksgiving service tomorrow at uh, at St Paul's Cathedral. We will pray for the Queen again and for her health. She the the, the statement from uh, Buckingham Palace this evening saying that the Queen uh, not at the ser the church service tomorrow of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral, but we'll still light the beacon at Windsor Castle this evening at 9.45. So we're going to pray for the Queen before we finish. But I do want us to pray, um, going back to what uh, Elizabeth shared a few minutes ago, that actually that, that, that resurgence, that passion of the Holy Spirit coming at Pentecost is something that would catch light across the church in those churches and with the, our brothers and sisters who who go, I find the Holy Spirit a little bit nervous. Would this be a Pentecost where God would set the church alight by pouring out his Holy Spirit afresh? We, we, we're not just going to pray that for the Isle of Wight. We're going to pray that everywhere across the country. As I say, as, a, as a, an NDOPW team, we've been talking for many, many weeks about the fact that in some places, Pentecost is something that we just merely give a nod to. And actually, we believe, Pastor Jonathan, in the news that in the e-news that he shared yesterday, in the in the things that we've been saying over the course of these last 10 days, believing that God wants to do something significant and prophetic, this Pentecost in our nation. But as we, God's people, we've got to be ready for what's coming. So I want us just to pray. I'm going to uh, invite us all to unmute ourselves in a second and just pray that that Holy Spirit would pour out ourselves afresh on those people and on our brothers and sisters 
Could I invite people just to um, oh, um, mute themselves, please? Um, and I'm going to ask Elizabeth if you that prayer request uh, to us. Would you just lead us in prayer, Elizabeth? Okay. Plan that up for us. Yes. Yes, Father. Heavenly Father, we need your Holy Spirit, and we pray, Lord, that you will give it a desire to have you, Lord, to welcome your Holy Spirit in our hearts, in our homes, to make King Jesus the King of Kings. And we pray, Lord, your word says in Luke chapter 11, verse 9 and 13, if a, a good father will give gift to his children, how much more will the Heavenly Father Give the yes. Holy Spirit for those who ask. And we ask you, Lord, we're 150 people, and we ask you, pour out your spirit, your spirit that purify the UK, your spirit that gives us love and unity among your Christians, the Holy Spirit that gives us the tool to serve you with courage and with boldness, and that gives us extra faith. Father, I pray that you may give us a lion's heart, mm. a heart of courage a heart yes, of yes. zeal but may, mostly a love for you and a love for one another and help us to be your witnesses to share and lord we know that as we share you will be faithful to accomplish your word and to the signs and wonders will follow so long as we share we ask for this now in jesus christ's name may your glory come on the isle of white and all through UK in our homes. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, just to say, I spotted in the chat a number of people saying they've had trouble logging on this evening. I am logging on on uh, Pastor Jonathan's system. So we also know that we haven't been live streaming either this evening, either to YouTube or to Facebook. But this prayer meeting will be available uh, later this evening. Um, so you can share that. And as I've said every evening, please do go back and watch the prayer meetings as well, because there's been much more that we need to continue to pray into that comes off the back of these prayer meetings. So this prayer meeting this evening will be available on the uh, NDOPW uh, Facebook page this evening and on the YouTube channel from the morning. So do uh, go back and check if you've had problems uh, logging in this evening. We're coming to, uh, the, towards the end of our time. And I do want us just to, to pray for the Queen following the announcement. And I know Carl, has, has got something he also wants to, to share because more of you have been getting in touch while we've been having our prayer meeting. So I know Carl wants to, to come back and to just share something before we go. And I do want to pray for the Queen, but Brian, anything else that uh, you think we need to pray for before we come to the end of our prayer time this evening? I think just to be uh, aware that, you know, we're just one of the islands around the UK. I think Jonathan wanted the focus to be on the islands and using the Isle of Wight as an example. So just remember island communities, people can feel a bit isolated sometimes, and feel a bit uh, second best. Um, the Isle of Wight is probably closest to the mainland of all the islands, and, but it is the most expensive stretch of water in the world. So uh, crossing it, it's um, sometimes fun and games, but um, 
you know, we're, we're blessed to live in a lovely place like this, but we do need um, a lot of support and help from the wider church. And it's brilliant that, um, you know, we've got great connections like these. And uh, sometimes, you know, we're just blessed with visitors as well who come from all over the world, you know, on holiday and dro dropping into our churches. We've got various things happening over the weekend and I won't be with you Sunday night. I've got a, a joint Jubilee Songs of Praise we're doing in the open air on Sunday evening. And we would pray the weather's better than its forecast for that. That would be really helpful. <laughs> We'll definitely pray for, for the weather uh, for the Jubilee. But thank you, Brian. Thank you so much to yourself and to, to Joe and to Elizabeth for, for leading us and facilitating us and giving us wisdom of things we should be praying for uh, this evening as we pray uh, around the Holy Spirit coming and being poured out afresh on uh, the Isle of Wight and also across this nation. But I do want us to pray for the Queen. So I'd love just to invite us now all just to unmute ourselves and just to pray for the Queen, who is uh, experiencing what Buckingham Palace call this evening discomfort. So I'd love it just to, to pray for the Queen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Carl, um, as, you come to, as you come to just share yes, yes, the end of our time of prayer, would you just wrap that up by praying for oh, the Queen as well? Right. Yeah, great. Uh, if you if you can unmute, uh, if you can mute yeah. yourself, that would be great. Thank you, Thank you. There we go. Oh, Carl, you are, you, you are now, you've now muted, you're now muted. There we are. Hopefully I'm, hold on. There we are. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think I'm unmuted, muted. We unmuted each other. There we go. Um, if you remember back the Christmas before last uh, in the Queen's speech, 15.9 million households, so that's more people, but 15.9 million households heard the Queen say that it was her faith in Christ Jesus that has taken her along the journey. In that year, she was probably the biggest evangelist we've ever seen in the UK. And she used her role to advocate her faith in God through Jesus, which is amazing. Now, as, as we, we come into these moments, and we, we certainly will be praying on Sunday, and I'll be praying for that now. Um, right now, there's 14 people come forward, either by email or in the chat, uh, offering to go to a high place, record a video, uh, not, not record, you know, be live from that place on Sunday so that we can call on you. And what we plan to do tomorrow, and maybe we'll have to do another test, is to see if the mobile signal in that place is strong enough. So... Tomorrow, when I send out the email to everybody who's inquired, I'd love you to go to the place that you plan to be on Sunday and we'll, we'll have a, a practice run on Zoom and we'll see if there's any technical challenges. Right now, uh, the interest is from Northern Ireland, Birmingham, Somerset, Liverpool, Manchester, North Wales, South Wales, Scotland, 
Uh, we could do with people, someone from the northeast, Bradford area, Yorkshire, southeast. What about Brighton, uh, Anglia, Ipswich, anywhere around there? London, can you believe it? Nobody is yet able to pray in or around London. What about Buckhurst Hill looking down or from Greenwich into the city? Um, and then the Outer Isles. Brian, if you know anyone you could recommend, and, and certainly I know Gene Owen put in uh, a note about Anglesey. If there's anyone that you know in the Outer Isles, please can you ask them if they'd like to do this on Sunday? And then just send the email to me, uh, CB, Adam, if you want to stick my email in the chat or your email, um, we'll, we'll add you in. It's going to be quite quick fire on Sunday because there's already 14 people. Everyone's signal may not allow them to participate the way we envisage. But the other really good news is on Sunday, uh, Noel Robinson is joining us live to lead three worship songs somewhere through the, the hour or so. We might end up having a slightly longer meeting on Sunday, but maybe an hour and 15 minutes, something like that, to get through all of the places. Anyway, thank you all so much. It's been a lovely night as ever uh, to join with you to pray. Um, let's really, uh, as, as I've been praying, you know, for this weekend, the word I've got is God is going to lead us into a remarkable season. This is a watershed moment. And the season after this is going to be defined as remarkable. I don't know what that means, but can we believe in faith that whatever comes next after this Platinum Jubilee, that it will be through our faith, through our prayers, through our intercession, through our perseverance, that we will see a remarkable season for the kingdom of God. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we just come in faith and we say to you, Lord, hallelujah, that we had a queen such as Elizabeth II, who has held up your name in the public setting, who has proclaimed the name of Jesus across media. Mm -hmm. We just ask you, Father God, let the rest of this weekend work out fantastically well. We pray, as people have prayed already, for the healing touch of Jesus to come over our monarch, that the discomfort she feels would be gone in Jesus' name. Let the rest of this weekend work up fantastically well, and we pray, Lord, that you would usher in a remarkable season for the Church of Christ in this nation, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Carl. Um, I'm going to just put the link one last time for anybody. We know that somebody has already given while we've been on tonight's uh, prayer time. I said it uh, for the previous two nights, and I'm going to say it again. As we come into land this evening, as we come into close, and I know that it's one minute past eight, which means some of you will want to go and get ready to watch the special broadcast of Lighting the Beacons Across the Nation. Let me encourage you again to pray at 945 prophetically as those beacons are lit across this nation but I, I put in the chat one last time the link if you want to give in order to help us finish off that final 34 percent that needed to ensure that every single bill for uh, united at pentecost is paid please do give if you are able to and i also meant to say a number of people and and carl will I, I think thank me for saying this if you are able to gift aid your gift that would also help as well I noticed there's a couple of people who would given last uh had given last night and hadn't gift aided if you are a UK taxpayer please do gift aid because it helps make your pound go a lot longer or a bit more longer away right I'm going to uh, call our time to close but I am going to invite us all as we come into uh, as we come into end our prayer meeting as we do every night by counting down and saying the Lord's Prayer. So I'm going to do it in Pastor Jonathan style. Three, two, one, let's pray.
Bye, everybody. Bye.